Hello, Coloritaville. I am going to go through and show you the lovely things that arrived in the mail today. Um, well, they arrived late last night, but I opened them today. Of course, I've got my Derwent uh, burnisher and blenders. It is cheaper on Amazon to buy them as a set than it is just to buy the two blending pencils. So I bought them as an entire set. It's got two blending pencils, two burnishers, a lovely little eraser, and these erasers work really, really well. And a little sharpener, which also works pretty good. And that's the boring things. <laughs> um, one of our watchers um, mentioned the Shuttle Art colored pencils and how wonderful they were. So I ended up buying this set, which is the 80 set of colored pencils with the artist quality. And in this wonderful little box, let's see if I can get it open. The tin lid comes completely off. It isn't hinged or anything like that. But in this box is this lovely little adult coloring book. Let's open that up and take a look at that. And it also has a little sketch pad as well. Oh, I should have opened this before I started the stream, but I did not. But the sketch pad itself is 30 sheets, 160 GSM. So it's good paper, nice, thick, very, very um, textured paper. So that'll be really good for drawing on and coloring on. Nice little sketchbook or sketch pad. And in the coloring book, it's an adult coloring book. It opens up this way. It's got color test pages, lots of color test pages. And then it's got really cute little designs. Now all of these are probably open stock designs. The paper is quite thick, I think. I'm trying to see if it's one page stuck together or if there's two pages in my hand here. It seems to be one page. There's a picture on both sides of the page. It's a nice thick paper, so you definitely want to uh, want to use colored pencils on it if you don't like the picture on the other side of course you can use markers but markers will probably bleed through but they're very um, intricate little designs some are very sweet and simple yeah and see a lot of these uh, pictures I have seen in other books like this one here so they are an uh, stock photos that they've purchased and put all together in a cute little book. Some of them make my eyes water like this one. I can't look at it very long. The little texture in the background, it just does my eyes in. But then you have these really sweet little ones like that. Oh, that's a nice one. Really intricate. Um, lots of little little designs, but it's simple enough that uh, when you color it with a colored pencil, it's not going to look overwhelming. And there's a nice little mandala, which is going to come hand handy. And that's another nice mandala. Let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, more mandalas. Okay, I think the rest of the book. Nope, oh, there's a wreath type picture. And I think the rest of the book is little mandalas. Yeah. Oh, and a dragonfly. Nice little dragonfly. Very cute um, adult coloring book that comes with the pencils. And then we have a little nondescript little box that you think what could possibly be in there. 
and in here we have uh, two pencil sharpeners. They're just a, a very basic plastic pencil sharpener, but they do work great in a pinch. We'll put those down there. And a pencil extender, which is wonderful because sometimes the pencil extenders that you that I have don't fit all of my pencils. And I found that this one um, and one similar to it fit two different sizes of pencil. So that's good. I like that. And then, of course, we have the DIY color chart. Now, I did go through and resort the colors because this does not make sense to me. Uh, they start off with the greens and go to cinnamon. So I did restart, reset everything and uh, organize it to what I would use. So here are the pencils. Now, I started with the yellows over here, of course. I haven't sharpened any. There's a couple that had some weird wood, so I sharpened them a bit, but uh, I haven't sharpened or used any of them yet. I just went through and sorted them all out. They do have their name and number on them, but like I said, the name or the numbers and the color chart them itself doesn't make a lot of sense. So you're going to have to either go by the end of the tip here or by the name on the pencil. Or, you know, do your own swatch sheet and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to, re I'm going to swatch these on my own swatch sheet so that I have more control over where they go. There's three lovely little trays in here that are... I always have troubles with these plastic trays because I always think I'm going to flip all of the pencils out. And especially in deep tins like this, when they're not filled all the way to the top, it can be a little bit cumbersome. So we've got the reds, yellows, browns, um, into the pinks and purples and blues. Let's see if I can get this out of here. I know most people put their browns at the end, um, but this set and the other one I'm going to talk about today has a bunch of grays that are green tinted. So I've put them with the greens. So we've got the blues going into the aquas, into the green grays, and then of course black and white. But I will do a swatch video and a review video of these. I'm also going to do a special video because the next set I'm going to show you that I bought are done by the same company. This is also a Sar Sergeant blah, 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 Shuttle Art sorry, um, product. And uh, I'm just going to put everything back in the box here so that I don't lose it. I'm not going to put that little little box back in there. But these are the 80 colored pencils. Artist quality. They've got perfect for coloring books and, and other things. It also includes a coloring book, a sketch book, a pencil extender, and two pencil sharpeners that aren't listed on the box. The box is very, um, very nice. It's got a nice tin box that it goes with has a little design there and on the back it tells you about their website where you can get the ebooks and stuff like that to download and that sort of thing. It does not have um, their color chart or what colors are in the box anywhere on the box. Now this next set like I said is also a shuttle art product and it's 172 colored pencils. Now what it is is 160 colored pencils and 12 metallics, which is wonderful. I, I only have one other set, maybe two, that have a lot of metallics in them. Yeah, um, the Brute Funers have a good set of metallics and so do the Fila's. Okay, so as you can see, I rearranged these as well, and I was testing colors. 
in this box you have your DIY color chart and as I said before it made no sense to me it starts with the dark bluish green so and their numbers also don't make sense I tried rearranging it in numbers as well and that made even less sense than the than the color chart so I've got it set up from yellows all the way through to browns and there is not a whole lot of yellows in here but they do have their name let's see if I can do that without getting a glare on there I'm going to turn this light off and see if I can do that nope still going to get a glare um, so it's got the name on there canary yellow as well as a number and I thought you know by looking at the the chart that it would make sense but you've got number four on this canary yellow and then on this creamy yellow you've got number 14 you know so an 84 on on shallow yellow so some of their their names don't quite match up to their color either but um and some of them i did have to run through the sharpener a little bit because their wood was a little little funky other than that uh, they seem to be a nice pencil that they, they come pre-sharpened which is great um it does not say i do believe there are wax base on both sets of these pencils i don't believe it says anywhere on the box itself let's see let's tip this over uh, just says non-toxic acid free um, follow us on social media has the social media stuff as well as the the website stuff um, warning not for children under three and that sort of thing but it does not say anywhere on the box whether they are water uh, wax based or oil based pencils now the trays for these ones are a little bit sturdier than the trays for the other ones see there's a bit of a schmutz there yeah it's just much but there's four trays in this box there's the yellows to the browns browns into the reds into the pinks purples into the blues now they don't have a lot of the pinks either um now like i said i haven't swatched these yet so there may be more pinks that don't look like pink than i can see i'm just going by what color is on the barrel and then we have the blues into the greens and the there is a lot of greens in here and then the greens into the grays into the metallics and into the white and black like i said it does have a good variety of metallic colors which is wonderful i don't know how well uh, the metallic shows through when you color with them like i said i have not swatched them yet and i will do that in a video now of course i've bought all these pencils and i need somewhere to put them and all of my other pencil cases are full so i of course bought another pencil case and i was really hoping that i hadn't already bought this pencil case in that in this coloring but i have which it's okay because i use that the one that I bought for my gel pens so I'll have one for pencils and one for gel pens as long as I don't get them all mixed up it should be all good so I bought a 300 slot pencil case and they always come with this cute little card asking for positive reviews they're always so pretty I like this company um, it is one of the only companies I have found that makes a case that will hold a large amount of pencils 
Let's see if I can find the zipper. And this does, in fact, hold 300 pencils. You can, if you have really slender pencils, fit more than 300 pencils in it. It will hold um, 200 gel pens. So there's all your slats on the back here. It holds three pencils per slat. And like I said, you can put four in these slots if you have slim pencils. I wouldn't suggest doing that with gel pens. I think that two gel pens per slot is, is plenty. However, I do have some of those uh, fine liners. Um, they're little triangle fine, fine liners and I can fit three to a slot with those. But this 300 bag will hold all of those shuttle arts, no problem. Now, the only thing that I don't like about these bags, and it's not a huge problem, but it can be annoying, is this bottom row is attached. So it's a part of the bag. So in order to get your pencils in and out of these two end slots, you kind of have to fold the edges of the bag so that you can get into those two slots. It's not a huge deal. I, I've learned how to do it and I've, I, I know that the manufacturing of these bags gives it enough ability or flexibility, I should say, to do that without damaging the bag at all. I'll show you what I have done with the other one I have because, and this is done by Young Cole. I probably pronounced that wrong. And there are other ones on Amazon that do uh, provide these bags. They just don't label them. Like this one here is not labeled with the same labeling that one is. As you can see, there is no label. Now this one here, I have a lot of gel pens in. Sorry about that, just had a train go by. So this one here has my rayons, my um, filas, my bubble pop. Um, what else does it have in here? My um, Wink Estellas as well as, um, oh, fudge wise, uh, Jelly Roll, that's it. Try to remember the name of them. Just in, in this half here. And then we've got, I've got them all in color order. So it doesn't matter, I've got them all mixed up together in color order all the way through. And like I said, it will fit two, sometimes three uh, gel pens per slot. I had two of the same color here, so I just stuck them in with the same and ended up with three in that slot. But most of them I've only got two in. It does stretch the elastic a little bit, so if you do do three to a slot, um, you may not be able to go back to two to a slot. It all depends upon how badly it stretches the elastic. And if you take your gel pens out and try to put pencils in, you could have a problem there too if you overstretch the elastic. But that is one of my gel pen bags. And like I said, it's, it's identical to the other bag. I buy them when they're on sale from whoever has them for the cheapest. I know the quality of the bag is the same because the manufacturer of the bag is the same. It's just a different person that, or a different company that it's been sold to for distribution and retail. It has a wonderful little pocket in the front here. And I have all of my Fila replacements in the pocket so that they don't get lost.
and you can keep anything in these pockets like that little coloring book that I just got will fit in the pocket of that uh, of that bag. Alrighty. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that is uh, it for today. I am going to end up doing another video on some pens that I got and some markers that I got. I'm just waiting for one more delivery so that I can do them all at once. With that, I do say happy coloring and thank you so much for looking in on it and taking a look at my lovely little um, purchases, I'll say. <laughs> um, like I said, in the description is uh, I blame Amazon. Well, who am I kidding? I can't blame anybody but myself. I have an addiction to coloring um, products and pencils are my worst. I do, uh, do like my pencils. And with that, I bid you a wonderful Sunday and I will probably see you later. Uh, if you do watch my later video, you might want to watch it all the way to the end just giving a little bit of a hint of what might be coming. With that, have a great day. Like, comment, and subscribe. Com continue to color and always, always smile.